Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. We are taking on determine rotations, the basic one in Khan Academy today. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We have triangle ABC uh, prime is the image of ABC under rotation about point B. So you can see the blue one is the original, the pink is the prime one, which means it's the image. Blue is pre-image, pink is image. So image comes second. Determine the angle of the angles of reflection, or sorry, rotation. So uh, like we pointed out earlier, uh, rotation about a fixed point. So if there is a point attached to it, as B is, B and B prime are gonna be in the same spot. But the real thing is, we need to determine which direction this rotation is going. So we start from C, always draw from the pre-image, this is the pre-image, to the image. So this one's the image. Which direction does that go in? Well, this is counterclockwise. And clockwise is obviously the other direction. So this one's counterclockwise, so we can eliminate A. A is out of the books. 180, oh, it might be. And then a D is also out. So it's either B, C, or E. Now, we need to determine if it's 270, 180, or, two, uh, or 90. Now, we can draw a line connecting C with B, it's already there, and then C with B here, and just measure that angle, or estimate what that angle looks like. And clearly this looks like a 90 degree angle. So it's not gonna be the clockwise 90 degrees, but it is going to be the counterclockwise. Uh, it says all that apply though, okay? So now we need to figure this out. Uh, when we're doing rotations, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and that's considered a positive direction, is going to be the same thing as 270 degrees in the opposite direction, or a negative 270 degrees. So 270 degrees clockwise is the same thing as 90 degrees counterclockwise, okay? And the other one is 270 degrees counterclockwise is the same thing as 90 degrees uh, clockwise. And then 180 is the same as no matter which way you go, 180 is the same thing as 180. So positive 100, positive or negative 180 will take you to the same spot. But this is the important section that I want you guys to take note of is that 270 degrees and 90 are the same if they're in opposite directions. So we're gonna go ahead and select that as our answer. And move on to the next question. Quadrilateral ABCD prime is the image of a quadrilateral under rotation about the origin. Determine the angles of rotation. Now this one is, uh, again, we can draw uh, the center point. That's a usually good spot to start. And then we're gonna draw a line connecting to the points that are being rotated. For example, C and C prime, I'm gonna look at those ones. So I'm gonna connect C, and then I'm gonna connect C prime, and you can see that it's a straight line in between those two. That means it's 180 degrees. So that's a clear indication. If straight line, 180 degrees, notice how there's no clockwise or counterclockwise because you get to the same spot. Point A prime is the image of point A under rotation about point P. Okay, again, same thing. We're gonna highlight both points, and we're gonna draw a line connecting them to the center, and we're gonna measure that angle. Again, it's 180 degrees, it's a straight angle. Next question, final one. Uh, boy, they gave us a bunch of easy ones today. I feel like I should've uh, do more, and maybe I will. I'm gonna do a couple more just because this is pretty basic. We have an angle here, angle here, connect the dots in between, that's 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and put 180. Okay, summary, and do it, just so we can see it again. Hang in there. Uh, we are determining rotations, the basic one, and let's see if it's more complicated. Uh, this one, if you get this problem, under rotation about point P, uh, draw a straight line, A to A prime. This is another 180, it loves 180 in this exercise. I've never done a bonus Khan Academy, so this one's a bonus. All right, here we go. Here's one uh, right here, there's our center, and we're gonna connect D with D prime. Always keep in mind which one's the pre-image. In this case, it's D, so that's the pre, and this one's the image. So that's important because that will determine the direction. We're going in this direction. 
So we're going counterclockwise. And what's the angle? The angle is 90 degrees. That's what it looks like. So we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise, but it's the same thing as 270 degrees clockwise. Next question. Ooh, this one looks good. So again, highlight the center, connect each point right here. Okay, so we have that, the 90 degrees, and we're going this way. So it looks like 90 degrees uh, clockwise. So 90 degrees clockwise is the same thing as 270 degrees counterclockwise. So C to C prime, and those are equivalent. So I wanted, I'm definitely glad we did this because we're getting a lot better variety in this video, or sorry, in this exercise, and we're gonna connect these lines. C, uh, which one's prime? Okay, so the pink is C prime, that's the original, it's the blue. We're going this way, so that is counterclockwise 90 degrees, and counterclockwise 90 degrees is the same thing as 270 degrees clockwise. Just as a refresher, I'm gonna show you that drawing I did earlier. If we go 90 degrees this way, it's the same thing as 270 degrees this way. And same thing in reverse, if we go, uh, I should probably use blue, if we go this way, it's the same thing as 270 degrees, the opposite direction. Something to keep in mind. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to real quick. We're done. We got two hundreds in a row. Hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you some uh, of the basics of determining rotations. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to tune in to more videos, uh, geometric Khan Academies in the future. Thanks for watching.